Cows are a big animal. There's no denying that. They are, some pun intended, beefy beasts. But some bovines make the average cow look small and dainty by comparison. Some are so big they look like they're fit to burst with a river of milk. These are abnormally large cows that actually exist. Number 15. Knickers. I think you can probably guess where this cow comes from, right? Surprisingly, it's not the British that gave this huge steer such a colorful name, but the Australians. This unimaginably massive cow went viral pretty much as soon as the first photo hit social media. This is our new friend, Knickers. Knickers isn't actually the largest cow in the world. That honor goes to Bellino. An Italian cow who's basically the Fabio of the cow modeling world, but it's pretty close. Standing at 6 foot 4 inches at the shoulder, Knickers is only 2 inches away from Bellino's record. And believe me, in Australia, you won't find a bigger cow than Knickers. But I guess when you weigh 3,080 pounds on a good day, that's something to be expected. Sure, when the cow does it, it's impressive, but when I pack on the pounds, I'm letting go of myself. Sure. I'm no expert, but Knickers is probably the most famous cow in the world, outside of the laughing cow from the cheese commercials. It's hard to think how anybody could possibly take over that kind of label. Maybe if a cow cured cancer, but... Well, I've never seen one in a lab, so I think we kind of have to just move on from that particular dream. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Montbelliard. The 74 Montbelliard is a beautiful wine, fruity with an oak yora. But we're not here to talk about that. We're talking about the Montbelliard cow, which is less fruity, but it does have a similarly oak yora. The Montbelliard is a breed famous for its tough feet and strong udders. which is a hell of a thing to be known for, but if you're looking for a large strong cow to produce milk and cheese, you've come to the right place. The Montbelliard cow is the cow for you. Weighing between 1,300 and 1,500 pounds, they're the go-to cow for French cheese making because their milk has a high frequency of Kappa Casein BB variants, which gives a higher yield of cheese. As someone who is an amateur expert in cheese, I'm all for that. That's all. Gouda. For me, while it would be pretty cool for a cow to suddenly produce wine, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Never say never though, science is advancing very quickly. It's only a matter of time before we all have our own wine cows. Good lord, the future sounds horrible. Number 13. Bazadets. France is full of les vaches, or as we say in English, the cows. But there's one breed that towers above all others in terms of quality, meat, and, frankly, size. The Bazadais is, as the French would say, say big. And yes, my high school French is rusty, but I think I got away with it. The Bazadais is particularly notable for its size. This breed can weigh up to 2,200 pounds, with most of that weight being pure meat, which is also hugely popular. Apparently the meat is so marbled that it's a taste explosion of tenderness and flavor. But that's for another time. The Bazadais is a rare kind of cow in that both male and female specimens have horns, but there's something even more fascinating about this breed. They're, uh, pageant animals. It's like Miss Congeniality, but with cows. Every year in France, a festival is held to present the fattest specimens, which is kind of adorable on one hand, but also pretty cruel and probably detrimental to the cow's self-esteem. As the cow would say, les why? My goodness, I might be fluent in French, and I never knew it. Number 12. German Angus. Most people probably think the Angus is only a Scottish cow, but they'd be wrong. 
the Angus is actually an international cow, thanks to those creative souls who just really like crossbreeding animals. Turns out messing with nature can produce something worthwhile. Back in the 1950s, German experts worked to cross Aberdeen Angus with other native German cattle breeds. The result was the creation of a whole new breed that came to be known as the German Angus, a larger, leaner breed than the original Scottish cow. Seriously, why do all the movies insist that messing with nature is wrong? Not only are these animals significantly larger than the Angus, but they're also more well-natured, provide a higher calving rate, and generally are just more placid animals. It's no wonder so many farmers consider this their go-to beef breed. So yes, while the Aberdeen Angus is the OG Angus, it's far from the only one. Think of it like this. There's more than one Spider-Man, and there's more than one Angus cow. Problem solved. Now if the cow starts producing webs, we may have a problem. Number 11. Limousine. I have nothing to back this up, but I suspect that the limousine would make an excellent driver. Something about the face of this cow just makes me want to trust this hooved animal behind the wheel of a vehicle. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe it's more of an airplane pilot than a driver. Long before artificial intelligence came to threaten our livelihoods, the limousine was a popular choice of draught animal, tasked with performing intense labor on farms and agricultural sites. All of that pulling and carrying weights led the animal to develop incredible muscles and strength. which turned them into the large and noteworthy animals they are today. However, the cows are probably better known today for their meat, making them the second most popular beef breed in France. As yet, nobody has tested whether they can drive cars or fly planes, but I imagine it's right around the corner. The limousine cow has absolutely earned its right to be on this list. Performing such extensive manual labor for such a long time has turned it into one of the strongest and most physically capable cows anywhere in the world. Yeah, that's a strange sentence, but I'm very much committed to it. Like a cow learning to fly. It's going to happen, guys. Number 10. Belgian Blue We talk a lot about the Belgian Blue cow around here because, well, just look at it. This is a real specimen of beefiness. It's about as close to Dwayne the Rock Johnson as a cow will ever really get, and I'm not sure who's sadder about that, the cow or us. The Belgian blue cow is a hyper-muscled breed of cattle, most known for its bodybuilder-esque appearance. But while it would be amazing to imagine a cow doing bench presses, the Belgian blue is naturally muscular. Seriously? No steroids. The cow's genetics give it an increased number of muscle fibers, much more than usual, leaving it double-muscled. Or, to put it simply, looking like Schwarzenegger. Unfortunately for farmers and beef lovers, the Belgian Blue isn't a great choice for meat, meaning that this extraordinary cow is all about appearance. Fascinating. I don't think anybody could even attempt to make the argument that the Belgian Blue is not one of the biggest cows in the world. This is an abnormal cow, if ever there was one. And it's basically a matter of time before Dwayne Johnson plays it in a movie. Oh, sorry, I meant to say a movie. Number 9. Parthenays if there's anything you should take away from today's video, it's this. The French have a lot of cows and a lot of good cows. The Parthenays is one of these good cows, named affectionately for the town of Parthenay in western France, and it's unsurprisingly a big cow. Thanks to their imposing size, many farmers take on the Parthenays as a kind of security measure, hoping to keep potential intruders at bay. And with their well-framed, double-muscled appearance, <laughs> It's easy to understand why they're such popular guard cows. These cows can weigh up to almost 2,000 pounds, and the bulls even heavier. They're definitely not the kind of cows you'd want to anger. I mean, if they tried to sit on you, they'd shatter your ribcage at best. The Parthenase is especially popular thanks to its ability to withstand many different climates, something I can only aspire to. So to sum it up, the Parthenase is an incredibly popular and mobile cow, and I think we all know why. It's French! Okay, probably not, but also... Maybe just think about it, okay? Merci. Number 8. Belted Galloway 
Like many Scottish cows, the Belted Galloway is probably best known for producing some high-quality meat. Unlike many Scottish cows, the Belted Galloway is also something of a fashion icon, and no, that's not a joke. Seriously. The Belted Galloway is named for the white belt that wraps around its waist, a unique genetic aesthetic that makes the cow stand out. The Beltie derives from the Galloway cattle of southwestern Scotland, though it was soon established as its own breed in 1921. While nobody really knows how they came to be, the cows are popular with farmers looking to produce beef. Thanks to the cow's quality marbling. And believe me, there's a lot of meat. The cows weigh between 1,000 and 1,500 pounds, while the bulls can reach up to 2,300 pounds at maximum weight, making them pretty formidable animals, especially if, God forbid, they feel you pose a threat to their children. The Belted Galloway is one of Scotland's most popular cows. Not just for their exciting fashion sense, people just really like to be around them. But also probably because of their fashion sense too. I don't think we can rule that out. Number 7. South Devon of all the native breeds of cattle to the UK, the South Devon is by far the largest. While it's not known for sure, experts believe that this beautiful breed is a descendant of Normandy's large red cattle, which certainly explains its size. And its love of France, I may have made that last part up, but until we can read cows' minds, we'll never know. The South Devon is primarily used for beef production, though some farmers have been known to use it to produce milk. However, we're not here to talk about what they do for work, we're here to discuss their size. While the females are pretty big in their own right, males have been known to reach a weight of up to 4,400 pounds, over twice the weight of the average bull. Even I couldn't consume that much grass. Not that I've ever tried. Please believe me. As I said a moment ago, the South Devon is the largest of all British native breeds, and it doesn't even go to the gym. They're just born that way. What a dream. Number 6. Indian Gower Sadly, being an abnormally large cow doesn't protect you from the same threats that the rest of the animal kingdom faces. The Indian Gower, also known as the Indian Bison, is one of the world's largest cows, but it's also a vulnerable animal. Come meet this incredible animal. Of all of the wild cattle species in the world, the Indian Gower is by far the largest. This cow is a strong, impressively built specimen that can stand up to 7 feet tall at the shoulder. Yeah, this cow is basically the same size as your average NBA player. Imagine that, and tell me you don't want a whole movie of cows playing basketball. You just can't do it. Anyway, these incredibly muscular cows are sadly diminishing in population, with their numbers falling by over 70% in the last three generations. In Sri Lanka and probably also Bangladesh, they're totally extinct. As these incredible cows face total worldwide extinction, we should be doing everything we can to protect these fantastic, abnormal cows. After all, their milk may also make us abnormally strong. Science hasn't disproven that yet. Number 5. Maine Anjou Look, I recognize that this list has been just one French cow after another, but what can I say? They know how to produce cows like nobody else. The Maine Anjou is yet another quality cow to France, and a big one at that. The Maine Anjou was initially bred for use as a dual-purpose animal to produce both milk and meat, but since the 1970s, the breed has become more predominant for its beef, which is kinda interesting because the Maine Anjou is prone to the double muscling gene, which can produce some tough and grisly meat in other breeds. I guess the main Anjou just has that special thing about it. Nobody is doing it like this cow. Or as they say in France, nobody is doing it like this vosh. Seriously, it's getting harder and harder to speak English. I'm just such a natural at French. The main Anjou is not just an abnormally large cow in France. This cow has been found in over eight countries around the world, making it an official French export. Or as they say in France, no, actually, I think export might be a French word. Man, I'm not even thinking about it now. Number 4. Janina 
It's the strangest thing. There's just something about European cows that makes them much bigger than their North American equivalents. The Chinina is an Italian breed that is one of the largest and oldest cattle breeds in the whole world. Viva Chinina! The Chinina is one of the world's tallest and heaviest cattle breeds, with some bulls measuring as tall as 6 feet and weighing up to 3,500 pounds. In fact, the world's heaviest bull is a Chinina by the name of Donetto. But that's a big hunk of beef for another time. Meanwhile, the cows are pretty big in their own right, measuring up to five and a half feet and often weighing up to 2,200 pounds. As if that's not enough, the Chinina is also a dual purpose breed, capable of producing both milk and meat and also being a suitable draught animal. The Chinina is certainly an abnormally large animal, but clearly there's a reason for that. I mean, there's no such thing as a teeny tiny draught animal. Trust me on that, I went looking for it. Number 3. Brahmin In India, the cow is considered a sacred animal. The Brahmin, meanwhile, is even more special. This breed has grown to be one of the hardiest and most formidable cows anywhere in the world. But was it bred that way, or is it fate from the cow god? Seriously, please tell me. For centuries in India, the Brahmin was exposed to questionable food, parasites, disease, insects, and a lot more unfortunate things. But while this would turn out to be pretty sucky for most of us, the Brahmin managed to use these conditions to develop some unusual evolutionary traits that would help when exported to other countries. The Brahmin's ability to handle extreme weather and temperature conditions, as well as their need for less food, makes it one of the most popular species of cattle in the United States today. The Brahmin weighs up to 2,000, 200 pounds, which makes it far from a light or small animal, but thanks to its low maintenance lifestyle, it's incredibly popular among American breeders, and it has the blessing of being smiled on from the cow god, who I've absolutely just made up. Number 2. Pinscour when you're looking for a big, beefy cow, the Pinskauer is one of the go-to choices. These dual-purpose cattle are bred from Austria's Pinskau region and are most well-known for their beefing qualities and impressive size. Also, they're beautiful. We don't compliment animals enough. Pinskauer cows tend to measure around 4.5 feet and weigh up to 1,430 pounds. For bulls, you can add around 1,000 pounds and 3 to 4 inches, but the point is that they're incredibly sturdy, large and adaptable animals that can withstand a lot from the environment. Thanks to their russet coat, the cow is protected from the harmful UV rays in the atmosphere, meaning that the Pinskauer is capable of surviving in even the harshest environments on Earth. They're also well known for their meat, if that's of any interest to anybody. Sadly, like many animals, the Pinskauer is now considered endangered, with the population decreasing every year. It's estimated that the population decreases around 10% with every year that passes, which is a sad note to end this topic. So instead, I'll just ask you to imagine the cow wearing a hat. That's better, right? Number 1. Irish Charolais there's always room for one more French cow, right? The Irish Charolais is a breed once used for draught purposes, but when technology put an end to that, they quickly became popular as a breed for beef production. It's a classic job transition from agricultural worker to, well, food. The Irish Charolais is a medium to large-sized beef cattle that can weigh anywhere from 1,250 to over 2,500 pounds. But despite that huge and intimidating sounding weight, the these cows are actually very easy to manage in terms of temperament. Basically, they're no diva, and that's always good to hear when you're dealing with abnormally large cows. Some of these cows gain all that weight, and then they just start demanding mansions in Malibu and smart water deals, and it's just a lot of work. But don't worry, that's not the Irish Charolais. To sum up, the Irish Charolais is one of the best-known cows for meat production or all-purpose crossbreeding. They're also just beautiful animals to look after if a dog or a cat is is too basic for you, just don't let them in the house.
Have you ever seen an abnormally large cow and lived to tell the tale? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.